r sin theta plus alpha and r cos theta plus minus alpha forms to understand these forms first understand this example if the question is solve this equation for this domain then we cannot solve this equation unless we convert sin theta into cos theta form or cos theta into sin theta form or this entire equation into either sin theta form or cos theta form because both functions has uh, have same powers one so to convert this equation into either sin theta form or cos theta form we use this form r sin theta minus alpha this is here so if we have this type of equation a sin theta plus b cos theta when both functions have same power one then we can express this into this form r sin theta plus alpha or r cos theta minus alpha both forms are there and the formula of r is this a square plus b square under root and the formula of alpha is this tan inverse b upon a and when we have sin function here then the coefficient of sin on left side will be a and when we have cos function here then the coefficient of cos on left side will be a now the question is express this into this form since we have sin function here therefore this 3 will be a and this 4 will be b don't take this negative sign just write 4 now r is this 5 3 square plus 4 square under root 5 and alpha is tan inverse b upon a which is 53.13 alpha should be up to two decimal places according to the requirement of the question now substitute r here and alpha here so r is 5 and alpha is 53.13 make sure you must write your answer in this form and now you can easily solve this equation you can take the screenshot of this page if you want So, we already have discussed these forms. A sin theta plus B cos theta is R sin theta plus alpha. If we have negative sign here, then this will be negative. And this is the formula of, of R and this is the formula of alpha. And alpha lies between 0 and 90 or 0 or pi by 2. Since alpha is acute, so don't take negative sign of B both a and b are positive so you don't need to uh, take negative sign see don't take this minus 4 just take a b as 4 because both a and b are positive in degrees alpha should be up to two decimal places these are the formulas this is for plus sign so we have plus here so when uh, we have negative here so negative here so in sign forms the signs are same plus plus minus minus when we have cos here then these signs are opposite minus so plus now this question is very important express 8 cos theta plus 15 sin theta into this form since we have cos function here so this 8 will be a the coefficient of cos on left side will be a and this will be b so a is 8 and b is 15 therefore r is under uh, 17 under root 8 square plus 15 square is 17 and alpha is this up to two decimal places make sure you must substitute r here and alpha here and must give your answer in this form hence solve this equation 
so we will not solve this equation we will solve this equation with 12 we will solve this since cos is positive so it must be in first and fourth quadrant according to this domain and this is the basic angle make sure you must write basic angle up to four decimal places when it is non-exact now you have to change this domain you have to make this domain as this angle unless you make this domain as this angle you won't be able to write all the answers correctly so first you need to bring 61.93 you need to subtract 61.93 from all so when you will subtract 61.93 from all you will get this domain this domain means you need to work in clockwise direction whereas this domain means you need to work in anti-clockwise direction so negative domain means always work in clockwise direction and positive domain means always always work in anti-clockwise direction so uh, the first answer in anti-clockwise direction is this and the second answer is this in anti-clockwise direction 314 point something but since this answer is out of this domain therefore you have to ignore this answer now you have to work in clockwise direction because of this domain in clockwise direction the answer is alpha basic angle so these are two possible answers one and two now you have to solve uh, theta this equation for theta and make sure you give your answer up to one decimal place so 16.8 and 107.0 107 this is very important Whenever you get negative domain, always work in clockwise direction. And this answer is because of this domain. Now example number two. Express cos x plus 3 sin x in this form. Since cos function is here, therefore the coefficient of this cos is a. So a is 1 and b is 3. Therefore r is under root 10. And alpha is 71.56 which is 10 inverse 3 upon 1. Must give your answer in this form. Must substitute r in alpha here. Now solve this equation. C the difference between these two equations the angle x is replaced by 2 theta so you just need to replace this x by 2 theta and equate this equation to 2 like this replace x by 2 theta and solve this equation for this domain in fact you have to change the domain because of this angle so first get the basic angle since cos is positive so it must be in first and last quadrant and the basic angle is this now change the domain first multiply this by 2 so when you will multiply this domain by 2 you'll get this thing and then you need to uh, subtract 71.56 from all so you will get this domain after subtracting 71.56 from all now this means work in clockwise direction and this means work in anti-clockwise direction so according to this domain this is the first answer 50.7 something and according to this domain this is the second answer minus 50.7 something so this answer is here and this answer is here now you have to solve this equation for theta and make sure you give your answer up to one decimal place this question is very important because of this 2 theta thing must sub, uh, substitute this x by 2 theta here next question express this in this form since we have sine function here therefore this coefficient of sine 3 is a and this is b 
So 3 square plus 2 square under root is under root 13. And tan inverse 2 upon 3. B is 2 and A is 3. Is this. After substituting R and alpha here, we have this equation. Example number 4. express this into this form since we have cos function here therefore this under root 5 will be a and this 2 will be b so r is 3 because r is under root a square plus b square and alpha is this so this is the express form of this first part now see x is replaced by half x so to solve this equation you need to replace this x by half x like this just replace x by half x and equate this equation to 1.2 this step is very important so we have this equation and we have to solve this equation first get the basic angle since cos is positive and so it must be in first and last quadrant and the basic angle is this now change this domain according to this angle make this as this angle for that you need to divide this by 2 first so when you will divide all uh, by 2 you will get 0 to 180 and then subtract 41.81 from all so this is the new domain this means work in clockwise direction and this means work in anti-clockwise direction so in anti-clockwise direction this is the answer in clockwise direction this is the answer but since this answer is out of this domain so you have to ignore this answer so there is just one answer and this is the final answer up to one decimal place next question all these examples are very important express this entire thing into this form since this angle is compound so we first need to simplify this function with the help of cos a plus b formula so according to that formula the this is cos x cos 45 and sin x sin 45 and this is here cos 45 1 upon root 2 sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 now we have to take lcm so when we will take LCM of these two, we'll get minus 3 upon root 2. Now we can convert this equation into this form. Since we have cos function here, therefore this is A and this positive thing is B. So R is this and alpha is tan inverse B upon A. These root 2 will be cancelled. So this is alpha and this is the final answer. So first you need to expand this with the help of cos A plus B formula and then you can uh, express this into this form next question express this into this form again we have cos so this root 6 is a and this is b therefore r is under root 15 we have to state the exact value of r and alpha is 50.77 correct to two decimal places and this is the express form r is root 15 and theta and alpha is 50.77 now this part is very important x upon 3 so we need to replace this theta by x upon 3 so by replacing theta by x upon 3 we have this equation now we have to adjust the domain and we have to get the basic angle basic angle is this so first we need to write x upon 3 and then we need to subtract this from all so we have this domain this means work in clockwise direction and this means work in anti-clockwise direction in anti-clockwise direction this is the answer in clockwise direction this is the answer so state both the answers here and solve this equation for x and give your answer up to one decimal place identities to prove any identity, you should first learn all three basic identities, which is 1 plus sine, uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, 
1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta which I did uh, which I discussed uh, earlier in this lecture and double angle formula as well so these things are very important convert reciprocal functions into basic functions use the completed uh, use the completed side uh, complicated side let me correct this use the complicated side or take the complicated side usually left hand side to prove the identities so we have to prove this identity number one we have to use double angle formula here of sine and double angle formula of cos is here since we need our answer in terms of tan theta which is sine theta upon cos theta so we need to use double angle form of cos theta here this form because we need tan theta so cos must be in denominator and this there is just one formula of sine to theta which is this now we just need to simplify this and this is the final answer the important thing is use the double angle formula cos form of the double angle formula of cos here to get the answer in terms of time now the second identity first convert these functions into basic functions like cosec is 1 upon sin and cot is cos upon sin and take the LCM 1 plus cos x so we have to use the identity here the double angle ident formula this formula should be here so cos x you know uh, cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1 so what if we had cos theta here so the formula will be 2 cos square half theta minus 1 so, which is here this is the double angle formula of cos and this one is here and use the double angle formula of sine here sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta so sine 1 theta will be 2 sine half theta cos half theta which is here so I use double angle formulas of cos and sine here and here now we just need to simplify this after the cancellation we have cot half x here this is cot half x I already have discussed this identity earlier in this lecture so I'm not discussing this uh, I would like to discuss this number 4 identity we need our answer in this form so cot theta is cos upon sine tan is sine upon cos after taking the LCM we have this sine square plus cos square 1 and here we have to use the double angle formula sine 2 theta upon 2 so we can replace this product by this formula now by taking the reciprocal of this we can have this answer this 2 will come here first and then 1 upon sine 2 theta is cosec 2 theta next question tan 2x tan 2x minus tan x is equal to this so tan 2x is sine 2x upon cos 2x whereas tan x is sine upon cos now after taking the LCM we have this now this structure is very important this is the structure of sine a minus b so sine 2x minus x so we have sine x upon cos 2x cos x and we can write this as we have sine x upon cos 2x cos x so we can write this as sine upon cos x and 1 upon cos 2x like this so this will become tan and this will become sec 2x you can take the screenshots of these solutions if you want. 